So I often get the question um, from someone, I have fair skin. You're telling me to go outside, but I burn. What should I do? Um, and if you are more prone to burns, it's important to pay attention to that. I don't think that, you know, you still want to avoid burning. Burning is still a sign that it's too stressful for your skin. But there are different changes you can make in your lifestyle that will help reduce the amount that you burn. And I can personally attest to this. I have very fair skin and have burned my whole life. Um, so one important thing to do is to eliminate or reduce as much as humanly possible the seed oils in your diet. You're going to be eating a lot of seed oils if you eat out because they're very inexpensive. So restaurants use them. So I'm talking about canola oil, soy oil, uh, corn oil, um, vegetable oil. Okay. All of those are very high omega-6 and they um, very much um, increase the oxidative stress to your skin. They're found in all of the processed foods. If you like to eat canned soup or TV dinners or whatever, uh, chips, crackers, it's all got seed oils in it. So you need to cut those things out of your diet and make your own food. Olive oil is fine to use if you need an oil, uh, but you don't wanna be using those omega-6 oils. I talk about this more in my holistic fats video. The other thing that really helps reduce sunburns is to increase your omega-3. Here is an example of a study where they used an omega-3 supplement, fish oil supplements, and showed that people burned less the more omega-3 they had um, consumed. So omega-3s come from fish. I like to tell people you should eat some fish or seafood daily or take a 1200 milligram DHA supplement. DHA is a type of omega-3 that is most important for our mitochondria and also for our nervous system health. So that's why I recommend that. If you eat fish and seafood every day, you don't need a fish um, oil supplement, but if you're not eating it, it can be really beneficial. So those are just a couple quick tips about um, how to reduce the likelihood for sunburns.